Hello again, everybody. Steve Politi from the Star Ledger, joined as always by Mike um, Mike Garofolo, our Giants beat writer. Uh, honestly, that wasn't stick. I really was just, I didn't want to pick my head up. <laughs> <laughs> it is Saturday at the Super Bowl. And it's been a long week, Mike. Obviously, we've talked to everybody from, you know, the, the head coach to the 53rd man on the roster. There's nothing left to say, no one left to interview. You know, that's why we're poolside here at the Hilton. Uh -huh. Hyatt, where are we? We're, Hyatt. we're at the Hyatt. Yeah. I got to tell you. It's a sad looking pool. It really is not not a great pool and there's no there's no bar service either, which is disappointing. Pool? Is this, uh, I don't think there's another pool. Or anyway, the pool. let's talk football. Let's predict yeah. the game. I would like to hear fine. I've not I've not asked you. I want to hear what you think is actually gonna happen on Sunday. Uh, you know, I, I, I see a game and I don't know if it's because uh, it, it's still fresh in my head, the Week 17 game, but I see a game kind of like that. I see the Giants taking their shots downfield, being successful early mm -hmm. on. I think trying to mix in a little bit of Brandon Jacobs after the fact. People are thinking they have to establish the run. Right. Now, I, th I think the most important thing they have to establish is we're going to throw the ball right. 30 yards down the field on you, 45, as they did on the second play of the game when they hit Plaxico Burris deep. I think, though, that the Patriots are going to adjust their, their, uh, their coverages to, to kind of avoid that, especially early on. Right. But if you can't hit that pass, you saw the way that that established the, uh, the, the momentum or, and establish the, or stretch the field is the word I'm looking for, uh, and, and allow them to do a lot of the things they were able to do. And, and, and I think they're going to be able to do that. Now you, you work in Jacobs, and here comes Bradshaw, mm -hmm. who the Patriots have never seen. You know, now you got yourselves a game where you're, where you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe a little bit. Now, that being said... So that's how it sounds like you're leaning in the direction of the New York football giants. You're about as wrong as your shorts. <laughs> oh, I see, again, I see a Week 17 game where they, where they hang in there a little bit. Maybe they've got themselves a lead. Mm -hmm. You know, they're carrying it. And then it comes showtime, gut check time. And these Patriots are just too good. I, right. I really sense this week, just by being around them, and just by, and I know that a lot of times the stuff doesn't have to do right. with football, but when they're in their situation, you try and get a feel for how the team is. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with the way they are right oh, now. Absolutely. Very calm. I get the sense that they are completely relaxed now, that if they were a little tight in the playoffs in the end of the season, trying to get perfection, that yeah. all that's gone. I, I, I look at this game, I, I think that Belichick's going to completely change up this defense to, to, to confuse Manning. I think he's going to see coverages he's never seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, the days of him going three straight games without, without an interception, I got a yeah. feeling are going to come to a crashing halt. Uh, and the Patriots are just too good on offense. The Giants will rush the passer, but Brady's going to get the ball off. And, you know, they cannot cover those five receivers. I see a game that's going to be, I think it's going to be a pretty convincing Patriots victory in the neighborhood of 42-23. Wow. Your that's pick? A, that's a big score. I say 35-27. 35-27. That's overs, by the way. So that's overs, too. If, uh, if you're into that for amusement purposes For amusement, only. exactly, please. Uh, okay, well, there, there you go. Those are our predictions. That's all we got. Enjoy the game. Thanks for watching. Dude, I'm really not going to move right now. <laughs> I have to get your microphone later Bartender. On.